American music scene is currently dominated by one name, Pete Ward. His latest album, Leave the Past Behind, has been hailed as the greatest achievement of music to date. Yet, as the old saying goes, you have to start somewhere. And Pete Ward did, with someone else, who got lost on that rocky road to success. In the early days of the band, when you were still a member, it was just you and Pete. Our sets consisted mostly of um, instrumental jams, but overall, our sound was uh, it was leaning towards a more like unstructured cello-based form of rock. So, is it true that you're a heretical charlatan, a no-good piece of human slime? What is your response to these allegations? Is it true? Is it true? None of that is true. Well, looks like that story was nothing but Jack. <laughs> mm. Now there's no footage of the band's early days because no one cared enough about them to film them. But there are a few who remember. Are you familiar with Pete Ward's first band, Warding Off Success? Aye, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they played a few open mic nights here. My god. How would you describe them? Uh, that one guy, Ward. He really held that, that, the, the one guy up, the one with the feathered headdress. Used to play solos in front of my customers' faces. Uh, it got to the point where I had to kick him out one night. How would you describe him? Fascinatingly ugly. <laughs> musically, how would you describe him musically? Then wait. You're in a band, you think it's going well, then BAM! You get kicked out. Bruh, this is garbage! Yeah, the dream got shattered. However, Harry maintains that this is only a temporary setback. This is a rebound. It happens to everyone. You live in the woods. I'm a nature person. Look, I've already got a new band. We're called Spaceship Aliens. I've got this 13-year-old kid that plays keyboard. We're playing a show at my place. You know, just, just to get started. I'll be honest, I do not see it working. Look at Ozzy. He got kicked out of Black Sabbath. That worked out for the best. Yes, yes. But Ozzy has talent. So, so do I. So what's your revenge angle? Obviously, you're emotionally beaten down, you're disgruntled, you want to kill your best friend. It's obvious, and America wants to know how. No, Pete's awesome. I mean, he's a musical genius. I go to his shows just like everybody else. Solid piece of reporting. Will the House of Lords ever recover? Will Chauncey survive? Will Tabitha ever find her gloves? Parliament of Murder. On next. XLT7's number one British drama. Harry! Are you pretending to live in the woods or are you here? No, I'm here. Then can you come in here, please? Dude, I'm kind of busy. What's going on? You guys getting divorced again? Your addiction to trying to be a rock star has negatively affected me in the following ways. I'm embarrassed to know you, let alone be related to you. You're a corporate sellout who listens to lame, soft rock garbage. That's adult contemporary! Oh, you old man, bastard! Bit of a tangent, but who is she? This is the kind of girl that could be your girlfriend if you stopped all this nonsense. 
Mom, I couldn't get a girl this good looking if my life depended on it. He's pretty dead on. One of the reasons I started this band was to get girls half as attractive. You people disgust me. Except for you. You wanna maybe like grab a drink later? I don't. Fair enough. I'm gonna forget all of you! Because when I'm huge, you'll still be small. Hello? Pete, it's Harry Barris. Who? Where'd you get this number from? It's Harry. We used to be in a band together. We used to be really good friends. Oh yeah, Harry. By the way, I saw that piece on you. A solid piece of reporting. Yeah, I thought so myself. I challenge you to a duel, a showdown. I'd, I'd hate to see you embarrassed any further, man. Or maybe you'd know you'd lose. Face it, fame has made you soft, pal. And worst of all, you ain't even got the guts, Ward. Fine. Anywhere, anytime. This is a classroom. The theater I had fell through. Where are the judges? I thought you were bringing them. It's your showdown, not mine. I live in the woods, man. You, you, you dump me, you get all famous, you stop, you forget about the fact that we're friends. You wanna be judged? You suck. I mean, I still like your music and everything, and I think you're amazing, but you're not a very good person. The record label just wasn't interested in you, man. I... I tried. Maybe you could be my opening, opening act on my next tour. Really? Yeah, why not? Man, I would have settled for tour bus janitor. Yeah, you'll be handling that as well. Deal, old buddy. Deal. Back in the band! Uh, kind of. Little did they know, the Swamp Monster only ate white people. Ha ha ha, it's a racist.